everybody and welcome to episode 10 of the Power World series. And in today's episode, we are going to finish up this build of the second base. Which, I don't know if I explained it prior, but this is going to almost entirely be a base based around ranches. That's why I'm making multiple floors. The ranches are very big in this game. And I need, uh, we'll say lateral space in order to fit the amount that I want, which is somewhere around six or so. I think, I might be wrong, I think, therefore I am, that the ranches can only have three pals in it per ranch. I, I might be wrong about that. Oh, I'm out of stone already. Damn, this stuff goes quick. Hey dear, come here. We're going on a bit of a trip. See any Vixies in the distance? No, it's barren, like a wasteland. But it's a mountain. Where are the goodies? I want Vixies. I want many of them. Or stone. I could get some stone too. That would be nice. Where, oh where, could that damn stone be? I suppose I'll pick up the Palladium Fragments. Oh, it's only one. Thought it might be in batches of three. Syndicate, thug. What is a human doing here? Get out of here. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done this yet, have I? Ouch. Rude. You animal. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Just go around hitting people? That's okay. I go around capturing people. Everybody has their own vice, I guess. <laughs> that, that guy is mine. Oh my god. It just hit me like a truck. I'm like, at some point, I'm going to have to do a run of this game. A Pal World human-only run. Where... <laughs> Where I can't attack, and I can only use human pals. Oh, that's a horrible idea. I can't wait. Oh, man. Who the hell thought of that idea? Also, where are all the Vixies? I really thought that there was more of them in this area. It says that this is like their primary spot, this mountain right here. It's supposed to be like a Vixie Wonderland, but I only see like two an episode. Oh, there's more thugs down there and a tansy. Two tansies. Hey dear, stop being all stuck. Come here. Let's take a peek over this cliff. See if we can't see anything good. Just a nice little empty area. Couple thugs. Couple tansies. Back into the grassy biome. What is that? Oh, it's one of those wolf things. No, I don't really care about it. I want vixies. Hundreds. Hundreds of vixies. And there is a reason for that. I have... Whoa, what is... Th oh, that's my base. <laughs> Right. I was like, wow, I've come across a natural structure. Maybe it's like a dungeon or a cave. No, it's just, it's basically just me saying I've been there. Even my incomplete bases are pretty big. Why do I always go so excessive? Where is the stone? I, it literally should be everywhere. Is that stone? Does that count? No, that's rubble. Doesn't count. That's also rubble. Ooh, boars. You actually serve a purpose. I meant to put one of you in my team. No, don't swing the pickaxe, you absolute goof. Oh, don't die now. You're next. Yeah. Okay, okay. I have to finish my thoughts before I move to the next one. That's how it works, Survivor. Well, that's a pretty good boar. It had a bunch of yellow effects. But there's something called a condenser in the game where you can fuse multiple pals together. So if you have, like, this crevice that I'm catching, if I had five of them, I could fuse four into one of them and make that one stronger. The other four would disappear, but hey, that's the price for progress, you know? Sometimes you just gotta sacrifice your friends. I mean, it's a willing sacrifice, right? They're your friends after all. <laughs> I think this game is giving me a bit of a criminal mindset. Oh well, I'm seeing boars and a duck, I guess, but where's the damn Vixies? Isn't this supposed to be like a Vixie utopia? See, Jolt Hog. We already caught some of those in a prior episode. What's this? Capriti. Don't care. Ooh, free pal sphere. Ooh, stone, actually. Screw the rest of it. I'm here for the stone. Mm -mm. Nothing quite as valuable as a bunch of rocks. Oddly enough, close to real life because, well, that's basically what diamonds and rubies and sapphires are. It's just slightly different colored rocks. And ooh wee, does monkey love rock? What is the human obsession with shiny rocks? I just don't understand. I guess it's best not to pretend to understand, too. Might not be a bad idea to pick up these mushrooms as I cross past them, because, well, I think I'm running low on berries. Oh, never mind, I have 75. I was wrong. But it does take a multitude of berries to feed one pal. They eat way more than I do. Way more. Oh crap, I'm almost over encumbered. 
Can I finish getting this rock? No, not really. But I don't want to leave a mostly beaten rock here, so I'll discard the ore. And finish the job. Oh, my weapon's damaged. Batting a thousand. Still no Vixies in the area, just Capris, these jolt things. Damn. I guess I should catch them for the XP. Should. We'll get the spear out so we stop wasting our arrows. <laughs> Okay, the deer can charge into things? Is that what that- Yes, it can. Oh, that's awesome. I don't have to waste arrows, that's for sure. That is caught, right? 93? Yeah, you're mine. Screw it. Let's catch these things too. Hit him with all the moves. Yeah, one more. Now we just run into him, I guess. Oh, he's too big? I guess we can't run into him. Ouch. Well, that's a crazy sound. Uh, I don't want to hit him with the- the thing, because the deer might kill it. Stab him from the back. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, goodness. Almost. Ouch. Alright, you're mine. 38%? I like those odds. Never mind, no I don't. Ah, oh, he attacked the sphere and it flew away. Come on, stay in the sphere. Good, Capriti. We're gonna be the best of friends. Doc. Uh, I didn't take much damage from that last interaction, so... Sure, let's get some more. Then charge into it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you can do that. Do it again. Yeah, just run into it. Deals damage. I made the flak almost meld into the stone, but hey, that's fine. 75, 89, all right, we got it. Oh, what are these things? Two of these things. <laughs> I love that you can just run into them and do damage. It's probably only with some of the bigger creatures. I had mentioned it in one of the early, early episodes, too. But I didn't think that you could do it this early in the game with some of these weaker creatures. Even the deer. I mean, he's got them big ol' antlers, after all. I guess it kind of makes sense. Alright, that's probably enough of the catching spree. None of these are what I want, anyway. I want Vixies. Not Flax and Sparkets and cap Capriti, cap Capri Sun Berry things. Back to base we go. Finish up building that second floor. We should be able to finish this up and then get the ranches going. And you'll see why I prioritize it as much as I do. It's very important that we get this done. It'll automate something that, well, can't really be automated any other way. I believe I showed the description of the Vixies prior, but they are probably one of the best pals in the game for one particular reason. Eventually, they might not be as valuable because we'll be moving up in tiers and quality of product, but at this very moment, they can do something that nothing else can. Let's go ahead and set up some walls here just for some stability and get back to finishing up the ceiling. Almost done. That should do, probably. You know what? I'll remove these two just in case we get some very large pals and get this last row here. Probably be able to call it good with this. Won't need any walls or anything. Oh, crap, there's a rock in the way. Of course there is. Can't do anything about it either. Well, I'll ignore it then. <laughs> like you do. That looks a little goofy. I can actually deal with it being a bit longer further out, too. Yeah, let's do that. Add another layer this way. Ah, there's a tree. Damn trees. See if I can hit it from here. Can I? Come on, just barely. Come on, you can do it. Just, yeah, there we go. I'm... Literally standing on nothing, but this works for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing on nothing. Awesome. Let's finish up this layer. Oh, it's that one block that can't be placed. Fine, we'll finish this up. Looks like we can do another layer too, so we will. Oh, there's another tree. And another, another tree. We'll take those out real quick, place these two blocks, and then we'll begin the ranching process. Maybe? Mm, I don't know if I should build this layer. Now nah, we'll go the other way. I know I changed my mind. Very quickly, I don't think too much about what I'm doing, because if I did, then I'll just sit here in analysis paralysis. At some point, I might fill in these bits with foundations and try to line it up so I can build more, but for now, this will do. Oh, I have a level up. Cool. Cool beans. I was doing all of that so I can fill this area with ranches. These. One ranch here, and another ranch. Oh, let's get the Lee's Punk, actually. I'm working on that. Go, Lee's Punk. And we'll put another ranch over here. Just barely fit them together. We'll put a third one over here, maybe. Now, I'd like to leave that with a bit of room for the stairs, so we'll put it next to this other ranch. Right here should do. Right there. Should I get another one? Hmm, I might want to make another floor before I do that. I could put some on the first floor. Sure, let's do that. Put one ranch in the corner here. 
And then another over in this corner. Yeah, we're getting progress. And we'll put one more right here. Oh, I'm lacking stone. Of course I am. Always lacking stone. While I'm here, I'm getting rid of these trees that were in the way. If I cut them down here, they shouldn't... They shouldn't, as far as I know, respawn being this close to a foundation or building piece. We'll get rid of these and find a little bit more stone. Oh wait, that thing's gonna be building for a while, huh? I'm gonna put in pals that can build for him. Do we have anything that builds better? Not really. For now, I think putting in all these sparkets should be fine. It looks like they have that hand symbol, which means they can craft. Oh yeah, you can hear him going to down. That should be enough for, <laughs> for now. <laughs> you know, they're crafting something, but they're um not standing at the thing they're crafting. Okay, if you say so. I need 20 stones, I believe it was. So we can get the deer back out and go looking around for that. What is this? Oh, pallium. And a... Ah, here we go. An actual stone. Wait, my pickaxe is broke, isn't it? Ah, it is. How slow is this gonna be? Is it terrible? 20 damage a piece? Huh? I think I can get 20 from this. It's not too slow. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Oh, oh god. What are we at? 14? We need 6 more. I don't even know if I can get that before my stamina bar exhausts. Seems to be about 2 swings per stone. Wait. Oh, that was more than enough. Okay. Let's go, deer. The ache fear. No, this should be enough. Wait. What did I need this for again? <laughs> I think it's because I wanted to craft another ranch, right? Yeah. That's what it was. So, let's get that final ranch. Right over here. Inside that wall. Sure. Works for me. <laughs> Damn, let's get the Lee's Punk back out. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. We can leave them to do all the work for me. Let's actually get a few more things I can do crafting. The lamb balls out. There. That should do. At least I assume. Whoa. Oh, right. I got a lucky one. <laughs> that big boy is uh, like a shiny. What are you doing? You think you can just stand around while everyone else works? What's wrong with you? Get over there, you dork. Yeesh. Bunch of animals. But literally. Oh, I need pal beds, don't I? What does that take? Uh, wooden fiber? Wait, fiber? I should have plenty of that in here. No? I guess the ranch took a bunch of fiber? Interesting. Now I have to cut down more trees, which I can't really do because my axe is about to break. So I'll be right back. Gonna head to the original base so I can repair everything. How are things moving along over here? We have berries that can be put in here. Hmm, berries. Let's just put them all in there, why not? And they've collected another 300 some odd? Not bad. Hmm. Man, yeah, let's have them just keep cooking the berries. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Then we have them over here. Wow, a thousand stone, 300 wood. Okay, if you say so. Put that in the chest. Like so. <laughs> Damn, they are really going to town. Like, really going to town. Alright, well, I, never mind. Now that I've said that, two of them have just started taking a break. Damn Tom Bats. Always taking breaks. Who do they think they are? Speaking of Tombats, have they been collecting any actual ore? No, not really. Looks like it's still gonna be just me doing that. Great. You never get any good help around here, can you? What's in here? Eggs and some random resources. Why? But okay, if you say so. Claw. Well, I guess I'll put the cloth in the chest too. But just take this random ore, I guess. Stone and doesn't belong in that chest. There we go. So we'll put the bones in there too. Now I came here to repair. Right, let's do that. Also, Nightwing Saddle. I want to ride my bird. I want to ride my bicycle. Right here. Let's get the least bunk on that while I repair some of my stuff. A couple ingots to repair the metal equipment. Not too bad. At least they're not asking for an extensive amount. It's rather light. Do I need to craft anything over here? Pal spheres, maybe? Not really. Should be fine. How much stone and wood do I really have? Basically what I just collected. 2,000 stone is pretty good. Although I would certainly like more. Oh god, that's gonna take a while, huh? Does he still do the thing where... Yep, yeah, if I... <laughs> if I stay... <laughs> ah, leaves punk never change. Holy crap, this saddle is gonna take an eternity. I'm just gonna leave it be. I'll let them take care of it. Hopefully it'll be done when I get back. I hope you guys heard that. Hopefully it will be done by the time I get back. Wouldn't want anyone to stop being able to eat or anything, now would we? What are you guys doing on this chest? 
He's messing around here. We'll keep them around while I go through the process of building the beds, which... Hmm, should I put them up here? Should I build another floor? I guess we'll put them down here. Against this wall. Oh man, I can't see. Where's my torch? Keep on equipping it. Torch? There we go. We will put the beds right over here. Says it wants ten of them, so be it. Oh, right, that's why I went to repair things. I need to cut down trees for fiber. Whoa, something is taking damage over there. What the hell? What is that about? <laughs> what the? I have to check that out. Syndicate thugs. Oh, they're just fighting a Caprini. It just looked crazy. Never mind it, though. I'm here for fiber. Yeah, you go too, dear. Do some actual work for ones. Ah. I love how much faster this cuts down trees compared to the old stone one. That stone ass was nowhere near as good. It takes... how much fiber per bed? Five? So I only have enough for four more? Ugh. Yucky. Oh god, <laughs> this game gets so dark. In a multitude of ways, but I mostly mean the actual brightness setting. I think somewhere around 50 fiber should be enough. This has been... <laughs> A bit of a pattern with the recent episodes. I have to get resources after all. We can't all be catching sprees and running around. And I haven't even fought bosses, but uh, boss fighting, etc., etc. We'll get around to it. But everybody has their own play styles, and personally, I like to take my time with these kind of things. Damn, they are all just bunched up in these beds. Oh, it's because they were crafting them, and they gave up halfway. I see how it is. Let's set up a couple more. Should be enough. We do one more row. Most likely. Right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we need one more. One more bed. Just put it against this rock over here, I guess. <laughs> like you do. Now, what do I need for the next upgrade? Cooking pot, wheat plantation, and a mill. Well, I would do that at the other base. Not here. Hmm. I would like for all of you to wake up and get crafting, please. All these beds done so I can get the Vixies doing their thing, working properly. I guess I'll just have to do all of this myself. Damn. Oh, it feels wrong to do my own work. Oh, could you imagine? I can. I'm being forced to do it now. Man, no amount of pay is worth all this effort. <laughs> oh, just six more to go. Man, it sucks when your uh, workers go on strike like this. You guys just wake up. Man, I need me a machine gun already. That'd wake him up real quick. At least I assume. Just me and you, Lee Spunk. You're the only one I can trust. You're the only worker who faithfully keeps going. Non-stop. Even though it says you're hungry. Oh no, it says I'm hungry. You even keep working when I'm hungry. That's a damn good worker. Good job, Lee Spunk. Good job. Let's finish up these beds. And then get them Vixies going. And maybe some of the Capritis, etc, etc. This is going to allow many of the pals who have abilities to passively produce items to, well, passively produce items with their abilities. I know. Astonishing. Never could have thought that that's where I was going with that. Mm. It is going to be nice though because as you can see in the lower right, I'm hitting the 2 button. I don't know where I got these megaspheres. Must have been from chests or something. But as you can see, I only have two of the blue, the standard, PAL spheres left. They go very quickly and I'm going to need many, many more of them. Many, many more. Since these are done building, Let's take a peek at the top and see if they built the ranches above. One, two, three, yes they did. So, now we remove these nerds and replace them with Vixies. Right in here. Get, get out of here. No, not left click, right click. Go away. Get out of the base. You do not belong. Now where are my Vixies? Right here. We have only six of them. Damn. On the plus side, none of them have the negative worker traits, so their work speed should be just fine. Get all six of them working, and then... What else should we do? How about two Capritis to produce food? Since I don't have much else, we'll put in... Where are they? The cremises. These things produce wool. Apparently faster than... D. Lamb balls. Now, do any of them have good effects? No? Just a couple negatives, a couple neutrals. Waterproof, abnormal. Mm. Well, we'll just put in completely neutral ones then. Yeah. Get going. What are you carrying? Wood? <laughs> Where did you get that, Lee Spunk? Ever the hard worker. Man, he's my favorite. The best. The right hand man. A lizard. Sorry. Go ahead and dump some of these resources. I'm probably going to need more chests. You even make a metal one. 
No, that takes ingots. I guess I can't. I'll just put this chest next to that chest. Relatively close, not too close. If you put them too close, it makes it difficult to interact with them. So something like that should do. Oh, that's awesome. I placed it. He dropped the wood. You can see it right there. He, just, he dropped the wood and came to start crafting. Oh man, he's my favorite. He'll always be my favorite. But this has been episode 10 of the Pal World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.